Welcome everybody in person and online uh, to the hybrid launch of the Fiddleheads Autumn Issue. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Um, my name is Sue Sinclair. I'm the editor of the Fiddlehead and I'll be co-hosting the event along with Joanne Elder, who is our online host uh, for the event and uh, an advisory editor for the Fiddlehead. Uh, I'll begin by acknowledging that the Fiddlehead operates on the traditional unceded territory of the Wallasta Week. Uh, this territory is covered by the Treaties of Peace and Friendship, which the Wallasta Week, Mi'kmaq and Passamaquoddy peoples uh, first signed with the British Crown in 1725. The treaties didn't deal with the surrender of lands and resources, but actually recognized Wallastigweek, Mi'kmaq, and Passamaquoddy title, and it established the rules for what was to be an ongoing relationship between nations. And as we all know, today we are still trying to find our way back to uh, those treaty relationships um, that we were supposed to have been embodying here. Um, the event is funded uh, partly by the Government of Canada, the Canada Council for the Arts, and the University of New Brunswick. Uh, and we are grateful to have our friends from the New Brunswick Deaf and Hard of Hearing Society here with us uh, online uh, to offer ASL interpretation. Um, you can buy a copy of the issue that we're celebrating tonight uh, in person here at our table with Grace. Uh, or online through our submittable page. And Joanne has already in the chat put up the link uh, to get your hands on the issue. So thanks, Joanne. Um, a reminder that we have our poetry contest currently open with a deadline of December 1st. Um, and what else? Questions. We will have uh, four readers. Um, Emery Todkill, Melody Sun, Christine Wu, and Matthew Guathme. And then we'll have a short question and answer session. So if questions occur to you as the reading is unfolding, if you're in person, hang on to them, write them down. <laughs> um, and we'll do a Q&A at the end. If you're online, feel free at any point to put a question in the chat and uh, Joanne will pick them up. And hopefully we'll have time to ask as many questions as we can of our readers. <clears throat> 